Hola. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Let's. I'm Thomas Lynch, and I am part of a Lucknow programs program committee, and I'm going to be in charge of a. Uh, chairing this space, so bear with me all afternoon. I'm going to be uh, presenting the people. Together with me in via Zoom is Jaime Olmos, who's also part of the program committee. He's going to be chairing the session, uh, the, the Q&A uh, session. He's going to handle the Zoom questions. There, um, there is a Q&A panel in Zoom, and uh, you can uh, put your questions there. So let's start the LACNOC session, inviting Ariel, Ariel Wecher and Erika Vega. They are the president and secretary of the board of LACNOC. A round of applause for them, please. That was a joke. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you're well. I welcome you to this opening session of LACNOG. So I don't want to waste any time because we have an excellent agenda that we put together. I'm going to give a very brief uh, presentation of our organization. We are going to give you an overview of how our LACNOC operates and uh, our current activities of a group of operators. This year, we are turning 13 years old. So let's start. LACNOC is the, group, is the Latin American and Caribbean uh, Network Operators Group. It's a, a civil, as an international civil association, nonprofit, and it was created in Montevideo. Um, it uh, so it's and the headquarters are in Montevideo, Uruguay. And actually, those of us in organization are all the. Uh, network operators in uh, Latin America and the Caribbean. And as I was telling you, we are turning 13. The mission that we have is, well, is to gather all the people operating internet networks in the countries and in the region, in the countries of the region, to exchange experiences and to invite them to our annual meetings and to uh, get engaged in our mailing list and uh, the various forums that we meet. And the most important thing is that we want to be a, lead, a leader in our areas of interest. The vision that we have is to continue to strengthen the linkages between all the uh, network operators in the region and uh, all the professionals in the area and to support uh, the building of knowledge and to promote innovation through working groups and to strengthen the linkages and uh, to uh, conduct interventions on uh, standard topics, technology, and good practices to, for uh, the maintenance of uh, the internet networks. Here we have uh, uh, the, the objectives. In addition to what I just mentioned, the idea is that as leaders in the region, we can uh, uh, 
convey uh, the needs that we have as network operators to the rest of the agencies in the region. We want and to express what our interests are and to cooperate in the process of development of the internet, developing practices and implementing the best uh, practices and to meet all the needs uh, in terms of uh, uh, capacity building and uh, training on all the uh, uh, issues that we do and, and we work with different working groups and uh, the idea is to listen to your needs and to have more and more relations with all the network operators. We want you to be aware of the programs that we promote, what we are working at and uh, we want to hear about your needs. So to see if we can be of any help at our organization. We support and we are actively engaged in the proposal uh, in in uh, the project development, uh, in the in the process of uh, policy development uh, um, in the region, all the members that are part of our organization, we do so on a voluntary basis. Uh, so all of us are volunteers. We, uh, as I said earlier, we are nonprofit. And the way we collaborate is everybody in the staff and uh, the board of LACNOG, the uh, program committee and uh, the working groups and the various commissions that we have, all of them are uh, voluntary. Uh, voluntary. It's all voluntary work and we do it, most of it is done remotely. So, and uh, we have in our staff, we have people from different countries and uh, it's pro bono. So we uh, respect and we promote cultural diversity and effective communication and ethic behavior. As to, as to the members of the structure of organization, the main components are uh, the community, all the people that interact with the services that we offer, the groups and the initiatives that we promote from the working groups, the community that participates in our mailing list the, that where we discuss a range of topics and all the community contributes in the discussion forums that we uh, uh, keep. We have the working groups, as I said earlier, these well, we'll see later on they are aligned with different uh, topics related to uh, network operations. and. From those working groups, we generate the initiatives that we promote for the region. We have the program committee. These people are in charge of all the contents and the excellent and um, the work that we're going to do today and on Thursday. This is a group that picks the papers that you submit for our annual events. And then we have the board. The board is the group uh, that is in charge of the executive management of our organization. The board includes uh, seven people, seven members. We have uh, our president, Ariel Wecker, and then there's six more people that are part of the board. The way we uh, contribute with value organization works uh, in Latin America and the Caribbean and all the initiatives that we promote are from uh, we do that uh, from our working groups at present we have 12 working groups in our organization we are organizing our 13th event this is our 13th event so these are our annual international events usually the second uh, uh, on the third quarter of the year, and uh, we have volunteers. More than 50 people work on a voluntary basis, playing different roles in uh, the working groups, the program committee, and the board. And the st that's our, our staff. At present, we have over 1,300 people in our mailing list. And here, yes, if you're not part of the uh, LACNOG uh, discussion list here, please, you can scan this QR code and you can join our community, joining our discussions. I, there you have the slide. 
and you can register. And from the moment you join our mailing list, you'll become a new member in our organization. I'd like no. Our current working groups are the ones that you see here. Several of them uh, are quite new. All of them are created thanks to the needs that we learn of or that you as network operators tell us about. And they have to do with the training activities and the initiatives that can be developed on these different topics today. These are the 12 working groups, one on universal acceptance, uh, adoption, anti-abuse, BCOPs, trainings, DNS, IETF, Internet measurements, the Internet of Things, National NOGS, Peering Forum, the work, the routing working group, and this working group that we created for cooperation among the operators and law enforcement agencies from the, uh, the countries in our region. Each of these working groups are chaired by, by a chair, and you are invited to join these working groups. We welcome all contributions. Remember that everything is done pro bono. So if you consider that because of your expertise, you can contribute to any of these groups, well, you can approach us and let us know. And we'd love uh, to uh, have you join. We have a chair or director for each of the working groups. We have some people that might be here. We have universal uh, uptake. Uh, Marcela, could you raise your hand? We have the anti-abuse chair. Yes, the Lacknock people, please, could you stand up or raise uh, your hand so that people may see who you are and approach you later? Because you are the people that provide support in these with these working groups. I'm the person that chairs the working group on routing. So uh, please, uh, the rest of the week, you can uh, get in touch with them if you feel like working with us. So these are our uh, objectives this week. Ariel will tell us about them. Good afternoon. Welcome to this event. This afternoon, our main objective, and for the first time, we will be holding our first assembly. Tomorrow, we have a very important uh, activity. Erika told you that uh, uh, this, uh, our, we, we have created, we, we, we are now have a legal person. We are a legal person that's going to be of extreme help. We're going to be able to uh, help uh, the national uh, NOGS and we'll be able to complete many projects. So that's our the top one this week. And we are quite impatient to for tomorrow. We are looking forward, a bit anxious about it. So I highlight it because uh, that, that's why I put it on the top of the list. Uh, as Erika told you, we have a mailing list, uh, uh, a general ma mailing list with over 1,300 people. There are network operators of all kinds, of all uh, industries. Join us. I saw that several of you were scanning the QR. You can discuss technical issues. Um, uh, it's very good. It's a list that has a great potential, it might be of help. And then the working groups that are groups focusing very specific uh, topics. There was a different QR, the presentation is uh, posted in the web, in the LACNIC, if you're interested, for instance, in DNS, the Internet of Things, you have specific groups debating those specific topics. You have, uh, you have the QRs for each of the working groups, and that's our job, it's to have the operators community to get together and to manage contents and to 
uh, help each other and to strengthen the internet. So a lot of that, uh, much of that is our objectives to create uh, partnerships, to work for the resources of the internet and the resili internet resilience, and we're highly committed with training. You'll see that our program committee has a very nice agenda, technically very interesting. That uh, and you'll see, you'll hear very interesting uh, presentations these days. And as all organizations, we are also eager to find new resources. So if you deem there's there are resources that could. Uh, be of help. We remember that we are nonprofit. Any resource we get from any potential sponsor will be beneficial to all of the community. That's another objective. We have a booth on the uh, first floor. You can go there and visit us there. We'll be waiting for you. And if you have any questions, the staff of Lucknow is there. There's quite a few of us. Welcome again. Thank you for coming. I wish you a very nice week.